Marche is an area in Italy that most people have just never heard of. And yet it's given the world some of the most creative and artistic people in history. The Renaissance painter, Raphael, was born not too far from here in the city of Urbino. The charismatic MotoGP racer Valentino Rossi was brought up in Tavoglia. And of course, Rossini, who composed 39 operas, including the Barber of Seville and the William Tell Overture, was born here in the coastal city of Pesaro. <laughs> But in recent times, La Marque has been making an impact in the world of yachting that is being felt in every corner of the globe, as yachts are produced as visually stunning as any fresco by Raphael, with performance as exhilarating as a Valentino Rossi superbike, and producing emotions that Rossini himself would have been proud of. Behind these works of art is Tilly Antonelli, and his company is wider. I spoke to Tilly just over a year ago when he told me about a new project, so ambitious, so avant-garde, he'd need a new, bigger shipyard to build it in. And so that's what brings us here to the capital of Lamarque, Ancona, to see the new shipyard and the progress that they're making. The wider 150 was visually stunning, with modern lines designed by the world-renowned Fulvio di Simone, and innovations that were as notable for their practicality as for their novelty value. Tilly spoke of diesel electric propulsion, a wet launching system for the tender, and a spectacular wider beach that would fold out around the entire transom. But would this work of art ever see the light of day? Or would this be an opera that would go forever unpublished? So Tilly, I went down to the shipyard in Ancona and I saw what looks like a very large hull being built. What can you tell me about the progress that you're making with the wider 150? Well, we started the construction in Ancona because it's one of the best places where we can manage to build steel and aluminum hull and we have chosen aluminum because it's a fantastic material and uh, different from composite. We have uh, a time to market much shorter so we can deliver the boat in uh, less than two years. And uh, we can, of course, play a little bit more with the layout of the yacht. Ancona has been chosen because of some other shipyards present in the territory. We can play with the competences of a craftsman, very serious supplier with a lot of knowledge. We will start to build the superstructure in the next uh, days and uh, we are very, very happy about the construction, how the boat is going to be built. The main characteristic is the engine room, which is placed on the bow of the ship, which is an unusual position for a boat of that size. And the reason why is because uh, we have gained a lot of lot of space on the nicest part of the of the yacht of the hull, which has been given to the guests, and uh, we have uh, dedicated that area, which is not very easy to fill it up, to the engine room, where we have delocated all the vibration, all the noise, and uh, we think this is a good move for this kind of class of yachts. The meaning of this project is really the propulsion. The propulsion, which is diesel-electric, allowed 
a very low consumption, a very, very quiet uh, ship underway. We have chosen for this propulsion the Azipods, which gives a fantastic handling of the yacht itself and uh, the less drag possible under the hull, so the best efficiency in propulsion to save energy and to save uh, fuel, of course. What makes uh, the product good is the team that works around that product. And the project which we are talking about needs uh, a good team to work with. We started cutting plates at uh, the end of August, beginning of September 2013. And the most the amazing part is really the bow, which is structured and everything is it's fantastic. And we think we're going to complete the construction by uh, end of spring 2015. Tilly, I know that the motto of wider is never enough, but a 150 foot yacht, surely that's, uh, that's big enough. As you said, pay off a wider is never enough. So you will discover in the next future what's going on because for sure we won't stop right there. From Rossi to Rossini, from Raphael Sanzio to, well, to Tilly Antonelli, these are people who have constantly pushed the boundaries of their chosen field, whether for reasons that are artistical or just because of that inborn desire to win. The results of their endeavors have brought us spectacular motor racing, the William Tell Overture, Raphael's masterpiece, The School of Athens, and now, soon to join the ranks, the wider 150. The only border is the fantasy, and we really have a lot of fantasy to go on with the wider projects. Thank you.